What was it like for you to sing in front of Pope Benedict? Well, it was a fantastic honour to sing for Pope Benedict the Sixteenth and to, to be in his presence during the papal visit to the UK, which was highly significant in itself. We were in Hyde Park, a wonderful venue and a gathering space for so many thousands of people. In fact, I think there were over 200,000, but 80,000 in the park. So there was a very grand stage that we sang from and we would have sung as the cavalcade of cars were making their way down the mall to Hyde Park itself. And when he arrived, everyone was very welcoming indeed. And we had the opportunity of singing a little three-part Panis Angelicus on the stage during the Eucharistic Adoration. And for us, it was a little moment of eternity, if I could put it in that language, very sacred, and also, he was a man of great humility. You could see that. And he also gave a message of great hope. So, a wonderful experience. We were filled with a sense of excitement, nervous, and yet we entered into the spirit of the prayerfulness and thoroughly gained from that. Thank you. And so, this is your very mentioned some of this here, so it's going to overlap a little That's bit. That's okay, but right. What are your memories of the papal trip? My memories of the papal trip in general were uh, memories of, there was a sense of a mixed emotions among the public. I know that the papers and the media were uh, to some degree quite hostile to his visit. And they certainly kept on saying there certainly won't be the numbers that there would have been, for instance, for John Paul II on any of his papal visits. And there was a, a real sense of somberness or um, a subtlety in terms of the reporting. However, the beautiful aspect of this was that the journalists and those who had predicted this from a secular perspective suddenly were faced with the reality of a tremendous surge of support and love for Benedict the Sixteenth, and the reassurance that his visit was to bring to the UK. So, in a sense, the the media reports were very much undermined by the public reaction, and there was a lovely sense that faith is alive and well. That's what I remember, um, and I think his visit was to be highly pivotal in underpinning that sense of what it means to be a Catholic in a very multicultural society. And the last question is, uh, what was the most significant message for you that the Pope made? Well, I think that during his time when he visited in the UK, he announced the canonization um, of Cardinal Newman. Uh, obviously first the beatification, the next step as it were to canonization. So I think when he announced that particular detail, there was a sense of euphoria, a sense of excitement uh, that this great man who himself was a convert to Catholicism and lived at a time when there would have been criticism of his own personal journey and indeed perhaps a certain sense of being isolated at times, that this great man and uh, a great thinker and intellectual, but a man essentially of tremendous faith, would now be promoted in terms of his beatification and then canonization. So I think that this was a tremendous boost, tremendous sense of encouragement to the Catholic identity within the UK. And his presence certainly was greatly appreciated. I remember he spoke at Westminster as well and spoke with such a sense of authenticity that impacted on the politicians and perhaps made our secular world stop and think about what are we really trying to achieve here and getting our priorities right again, but injecting a sense of the spiritual. So these are some of the key memories that I remember and also still eat and drink out of. Uh, and I hope that he is at peace in terms of his retirement now uh, in the Vatican and he's still praying for the church.
perfect.